Good afternoon, and welcome to our Thursday service of healing for March 4th. As you know, this is a service that we do on behalf of the communities at St. Stephen's and at St. Gabriel. And it's a service you may know well, so we will assume that. And if any of you do not have one of the service booklets, let us know on our website and we will get you one. So we're going to begin now. And we'll go slowly. I will go slowly because I've been away. I'm back and I'm happy to be back. Uh, you may not know, I was in Chicago for two months and we had our fifth grandchild and what could be better than that, holding a few week old baby. All right, here we go. Let's begin. Blessed be the one holy and living God. Glory to God forever and ever. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Gracious God, we commend to your loving care all who suffer, especially those who come here seeking your healing grace for themselves or for others. Give them patience and hope in their distress. Strengthen and uphold them in mind and body. And grant by your intervention that all your people may be made whole according to your desire through Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now for today's appointed lessons and psalm. Our first reading is from Genesis 22. After these things, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. He said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I shall show you. When they came to the place that God had shown him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in a thicket by its horns. Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies. And by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm for today is Psalm 86. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Knit my heart to you that I may fear your name. I will thank you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forevermore. For great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the nethermost pit. The arrogant rise up against me, O God, and a band of violent men seeks my life. They have not set you before their eyes. But you, O Lord, are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and full of kindness and truth. Turn to me and have mercy upon me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. Show me a sign of your favor so that those who hate me may see it 
and be ashamed because you, O oh Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Our second reading comes from Romans 8, verses 31 to 34. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Jesus Christ who died, yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now our listening of healing. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick or injured, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, healthcare workers, and all others who minister to those suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying a peace and holy death and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. Please do so either aloud where you are or in the silence of your prayer. We would like to pray for both communities of St. Stephen's and St. Gabriel's. Please keep in your prayers Raina's health, Ashley, Merrill. We also like to pray for healing this Lent season through these selected litanies of penitence. We pray for all our past unfaithfulness, the pride, hypocrisy, and impatience of our lives. We also like to pray for our self-indulgent ways and the exploitation of other people. Let us pray. Open to us your healing power, O Lord. We entrust ourselves to your care, knowing that you are doing for us and for all the world far better things than we can ask or imagine. With you as our companion and guide, strengthen us to hope for all that is good and to fear no evil. For your love is stronger than death and your faithfulness reaches to the heavens. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and for the ages of ages. Amen. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins, through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Now we come to the laying on of hands and anointing neither of which we will do, given COVID and given 
the virtual nature of this service, I will go through the service as if we will do it. O Lord, Holy Father, giver of health and salvation, send your Holy Spirit to sanctify this oil that is in front of us, that as your holy apostles anointed many who were sick and healed them, so may those who in faith and repentance receive this holy unction be made whole. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And now I lay my hands upon each of you and offer you anointing in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, praying that you will be strengthened and filled with God's grace, and that you may know the healing power of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing, peace, exquisite care, and healing grace of God be with you on this day and on all days going forward. Amen. And now our concluding collect. Let us pray. May the God who goes before you through desert places by night and by day be your companion and guide. May your journey be with the saints. May the Holy Spirit be your strength and Christ your clothing of light in whose name we pray. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Amen. Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now the final prayer, blessing and peace. Let us pray together. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you in the sacrament of your body and blood, come spiritually into my heart. Cleanse and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Christ, and let me never be separated from you. May I live in you and you in me, in this life and in the life to come. Amen. And now the blessing. May God the Father bless you. God the Son heal you. God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And now with healing and full hearts, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>